So good morning, uh, everyone. I uh, hope everyone is feeling okay. Um, I just wanted to do a uh, introduction to bonds uh, in chapter six, and I want to go over about fifteen or so slides just to get uh, things started so we understand the terminology. Um, the first thing is just to go over some words that you should know and you should see in the reading. Um, a bond certificate right here is also known as the indenture, um, and that basically just tells you all the um, rules and regulations associated with the bond, how much interest you're going to get, uh, the term to maturity, um, whether or not it's, it's callable in case they decide to call the bond early and, um, and you know, refinance their, their bonds. So to make sure everyone understands, a bond is um, money that is borrowed um, for the sole purpose of, you know, of financing a company. So if, if um, a company needs money and doesn't want to issue stock, the alternative is to issue bonds and just simply borrow money and uh, not allow anyone to have any say in running of the company. Just uh, it's similar to you know borrowing money from a bank for a car loan. And of course, um, interest has to be paid to the uh, people who you borrow the money from. The maturity date is when the bond actually matures. So if it's a 30-year bond from today's date, it would be, I guess, 2047, right? Uh, and uh, the time to remaining until the payment uh, redate is as time goes on, um, you, 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 know, you subtract of what, how long you already held it. The coupon will be simply the interest payments. Another, a coupon is another word for interest payments on a bond. And it's simply how much uh, interest is going to be paid, uh, either annually or semi-annually. Most bonds pay interest on a semi-annual, six-month daily basis. All right, face value is simply the uh, otherwise, otherwise known as par value, and typically it'll be a thousand dollars all the time, and that's what's used to compute the uh, interest payments that you would receive on this bond. And again, coupon rate is another term for the interest rate, um, expressed as an annual percentage rate uh, of each coupon payment. So to determine the um, payment um, for each coupon, you just simply take the rate times the face value and divide it by, if it's going to pay coupons every six months, you divide it by two in this case. So that'll give you how, how much you're going to receive in uh, dollars every six months. All right, so there's a, term, there's a bond called a zero coupon bond. And the reason they call it a zero coupon bond is simply because um, it pays zero coupons. You buy it at a very, very um, low price, and then it, when it matures, you get the full face value. Uh, a bond typically like this is a treasury uh, bill where you buy it at a deep discount, and when it matures, you get the full face value. So basically, you don't wait, you don't wait in line um, you know, at the mailbox to get your, uh, your interest payments. So that's what they, why they call it a zero. All right, so they, they go, start going through calculations here, and they tell you how much, this is how much you bought the bond for, and this is how much you're going to get when it matures. And they start showing, again, they start showing you equations for getting um, the price, the present value of a zero coupon bond. How do you get that? And as usual, we're going to go to Excel. So here's the... Um, Here's one way, um, if we get a different solution for the equation I just showed you, here's the uh, yield to maturity, and if we solve for the yield to maturity for a one-year bond, as you can see, one year, the uh, yield to maturity is 3.5%. So if I go to Excel, and you can see I did that, uh, I thought I did that right over here, but... Hold on, let me get more. Uh, let me open up these cells a little bit and give you some more decimals and see. All right, there you go. So you can see that's 3.5%. And, and all I did was use the rate function here. And you can see one period. Here's the present value. And here is the um, future value. And that's all you have to do. And you're basically done. And I've done it for several other ones that are in the slides. 
which I'll show you um, shortly. So here's the equation for more than one year. And here are a bunch of bonds. And um, they want to know what the yield to maturity is. And I solved all of these for you in here. And as I said, you do nothing but pop numbers in. So no worrying about equations. This came out to 4%, right? Here's the current price, the face value, two years. And here is 4.75% um, for that last one. So all you do is just pop these three numbers in to get the rate or yield to maturity. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. And here's, here's more, which you can solve by just popping these into the Excel spreadsheet yourself. And it's just a, a similar idea. And they do it for you here, but you can simply do these yourself uh, with the Excel spreadsheet. So don't worry about the equation. All right, so another term that's used for the um, yield to maturity is the risk-free rate because they have to guarantee you that rate um, on the bond no matter what. That's the rate you're going to get when it matures. So yield to maturity is also known as the um, risk-free uh, interest rate. So it's just important to know that. And again, they also call it the spot interest rate, okay? Because that's the current spot means current for a zero coupon yield. And they have a and we they're able to plot each yield as a as a function of the different bonds maturity date. And you'll get a curve that represents that as each um, bond goes out in time, kind of like the yield curve for a, a treasury bond. All right, so um, I'm going to knock off there, and then the next time um, we, we uh, discuss, uh, I'm going to move away from zero coupon bonds and just simply move on to regular coupon bonds. And uh, you'll see that the uh, calculations with Excel are just as simple, and a coupon bond is uh, actually does pay coupons like a corporate bond or a 30-year uh, uh, treasury bond. All right, I'll uh, talk to you later then. Everyone, all the best.